guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. I hope you had a really good week. It is time once again for my weekly home fragrance roundup. So this is the video that I like to do every Saturday where I share with you guys what I burned in terms of candles and what I melted in terms of wax melts. So um, we are down in my living room again. I'm really enjoying filming this particular video downstairs because it saves me having to run all the candles up the stairs here behind me. So um, this is working out great. And what is this on the floor? Oh, shreds of paper from Penelope. <laughs> I don't know where she currently is, but I do have Mr. Kong behind me here. So my um, usual assistant is joining us. I don't know where the other one went, but anyway, we're going to hope that she is not setting the house on fire right now. All right, so I'm going to start with wax melts because I am using them again. And I want to let you guys know what I have behind me here in the Scentsy Champagne warmers and what I actually have um, in all of the warmers in the downstairs of my house. So I have one warmer in a butler's pantry that is between the kitchen and the dining room. I have a warmer in my kitchen and then I also have one in the downstairs bathroom here. So in all of the larger warmers, I currently have this combination here and this combination being sweet plum pastry and happy birthday. So one cube of each. You guys know that I love sweet plum pastry just all by itself. Ah, I love it. But, um, I also love happy birthday and oh my gosh, it's so good. I did put happy birthday, um, into my, uh, S Scentsy subscription. So when it was part of bring back my bar, I created just a custom three pack of just happy birthday. And, um, that should actually be coming to me the middle of April here. So when I get that haul, I will show you guys. I did a little bit of switching around again and I got a different brick this time. So I'll let you guys see what my subscription haul is. Um, and the sweet plum pastry is also in my subscription because I am not able to get this otherwise. So, uh, it might come back in a bring back my bar again, but me. Yeah. I always have at least two or three bars coming to me. I can't remember if I have three sweet plum pastries in each six pack or two. I think it's three. It's probably three. And then um, uh, Kim from Sensible Magic did send me just a few things that she had left over from when she closed down her, um, her wax melt business. And, um, so I was really bummed out that she's not doing it anymore, but she is going back to school and just doesn't have time for it. So she sent me a few things that she had left in her backstash. And one of the items that she sent me was the, um, copper coconut, which is a dupe for the Bath and Body Works, uh, coconut, copper coconut. It's so nice, you guys. This is what I actually have in the guest bath downstairs here. It's lovely. I'm really sad she's no longer doing this because I did find her um, wax melts to be very, uh, strong, very long lasting. Um, I don't do a lot of vendor wax as you guys know. I just, I don't like that like hunger game style of like waiting for things to come back in stock. And I do realize there are some companies that do keep a lot of things just in regular stock, but then they also do releases on top of it. And it's usually the releases that, um, are the fragrances that a lot of people are interested in. So I can see what they, why they do it that way. It definitely helps to build buzz and it gets people really excited and looking forward to, uh, to things. Um, and who knows? I mean, I might get into it in the future, but right now I just don't really have a draw to it at all. Sorry if my hair's insane. I just, I blow dried it this morning and like promptly took Stella to school and then never finished this. So, all right, let's talk some candles next. Um, I am currently testing this right here. This is the Nest Sicilian Tangerine. It is actually lit behind me on my entry table. Hopefully you guys can see that back there. So um, I am burning that and I will have an in-depth review for you tomorrow. So look forward to that then. I can tell you right now though that it's an amazing scent. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow, but I, this is beautiful. <laughs> I think this is one of my favorites from Nest besides Holiday, which is my all time favorite. And then I also really love Birchwood Pine. Um, but this Sicilian Tangerine, if you love citrus scents, you have to try this. And then another Nest candles, a candle that I have been continuing to burn a little bit here and there this past week is Velvet Pear. Um, 
I this is not a repurchase for me, but I'm I'm actually enjoying it a little bit more now that I'm kind of almost near the halfway point with it. Um, it's not one that I loved as much as I thought I would love it. Um, I just kind of like it. Um, but it is a very, it, it is a pear scent. There's some apple notes in there as well, but they also, she also mixed in some like musky type notes and the musk notes really kind of throw it off for me, but it is good regardless. I think if you can ever smell this, like at Nordstrom's, or do they sell them at Neiman Marcus? If you can ever smell them in a department store, you should. Um, especially this one here. Um, she comes up with some beautiful concoctions, but that one is just good for me, not amazing. Okay, um, more candles. So I've been burning all of my fruit baskets, the strawberry, the peach, and the blueberry. Um, I ordered a as is from QVC um, in the blueberry um, fruit basket. I'm holding up the apple one because this is what they sent me. They they didn't send me the as is blueberry, so I don't know if they just made a mistake in the shipping department or if they just grabbed a box and were like, "This looks good enough," and sent it out. Like I don't I don't know what happened. I could totally have sent this back, but I did not have the apple one and. I do actually like the scent. It smells very similar to the deliciously apple scent. Not, it's not the same, but it's similar. It's really nice. I was burning this this week and I am glad that I kept it. I do wish it would have been the blueberry one, but I'm glad that I got to try this. And it is a very pretty decor piece. I think this is also gonna be good for like my fall decor. So I figured it was definitely worth keeping. Um, the fruit baskets are still on sale right now. As of right now, they do have some in as is. Now, I can't guarantee you that you'll actually get the one that you order, but they also just have the fruit baskets like in the regular, um, uh, not as is section, if you will. <laughs> so if you want those, I will link them down below. I will link anything that I can down below in the description box so you can easily go find it. But um, I would highly suggest picking up the fruit baskets because Harry is not going to be coming back with those. I'm not seeing any ceramics from him this year at all, which kind of bums me out because I feel like he does really cute um, ceramics. He did those ice cream cones last year, which I thought were adorable. I didn't pick any up, but they were so cute. I think he just does beautiful stuff when it comes to these types of um, items. They're not everybody's style. Um, and honestly, this is not really my decor style, but I think it's fun to add cute things like this in. Um, but anyway, if you want them, I would pick them up because once they're gone, I don't think he's gonna be bringing those back at all. He certainly did not bring back the refill inserts. So once I'm done, like I have a decor piece, but no longer any candles to replace in here so that is a little bit of a bummer but I will link the um the fruit baskets down below and if there's any as is I will link the as is as well so that was a long long talk there um I am like irritated with QVC for sending me that I did call them they're like yeah just send it back and I was like well then I have to go to the post office I don't go to the post office all that often. It's not like it's that far away, but it's a drive from my house and it would be a detour. And I already have so many things that I'm doing every single day anyway. And again, I thought it was cute enough, so I kept it. But I wish that QVC was a little bit more careful with stuff like this because this isn't the first time that I've received the wrong item from QVC. So they seem to have a habit of doing this. Other people have said that too. So um, I did open up a new Root Paradise candle because I just love this one. Oh, it's so good. Um, this is not currently on their website in the full size jars. I'm hoping that it comes back for summer. In fact, I need to email Root Candles and make sure that it is coming back because it is one of my favorite scents from them. And this is the only Root Candle scent that I cannot buy at the flower market at wholesale. So I do have to buy that one from their website. Okay, um, burning this. I will also have a review of this up tomorrow for you guys. So it's coming. I'm not gonna say much about it, but it is the Homeworks Spun Vanilla Sugar. So look for that tomorrow. 
And I have also been burning the um, more of the farm stand strawberry a little bit. I've been burning mostly the farm stand strawberry fruit basket to finish that refill up. But um, I have lit this a couple times this week in addition to that to get like more of a throw. Um, I did not trim the wicks on this because I wanted you guys to be able to see how the wicks end up after you burn this. Um, I am keeping these just a little bit shorter because, and some of you pointed this out, that there were some plumes of smoke or soot that were coming off of this candle when I reviewed it last week. I didn't actually notice that when I was filming or when I had been burning the candle prior. So I looked back at the footage and I did see it on the actual footage. And so what I have been doing is before lighting this, I'm actually trimming the wicks and I'm just going to pluck one of these wicks off very carefully to show you where I've been trimming it. So this is the length that um, I'm trimming it to. Maybe you can see it in comparison to the other ones. So there's, I'm totally making it. That's how much of the top of the wick I took off. I'm just going to set this in here for a second. Um, so yeah, I am trimming the wicks with this. I have been avoiding trimming wicks with Homeworks candles because last fall there was, it was better for me to just not trim the wicks um, because they were getting much shorter just naturally by themselves. Some people had issues with drowning wicks. What I'm finding with these new spring wicks is there's a lot more lean and the wicks are longer and they burn really hot, which is great for, you know, throw and strength and all that. But then they also want to lean over into the wax and almost drown themselves. So I don't know that the Homeworks wick issue has been perfected quite yet. It is not scaring me off personally from investing in more of the candles myself. Um, I do buy all these myself. Harry does not send out PR anymore. I did get some PR last year, but he's not doing that anymore. Um, so I am buying these myself. I'm spending my own money. I am still confident in spending money on these candles, but I do think that there is still a little bit of improvement with these particular wicks. Um, you know, and trial and error, I guess you kind of have to like figure that stuff out as you go. But yeah, I am appreciative of the fact that he took a look at the fall and winter candles and said, okay, there's obviously something that needs to be tweaked here. And he did and came up with these wicks here. Um, these are, by the way, all being manufactured now in Vietnam. I, I think all of them are. I don't think he's making any of them in the US anymore. Last fall, there were still some that were being manufactured here. I've said before that I don't really have a huge problem with them being manufactured in another country. I wish they were manufactured here because I feel like there's a little bit less of a carbon footprint. Um, which I think is important, but I mean, I also understand that for cost purposes, for production purposes, that it might be less expensive to farm it out to, um, a, a different country or a different company. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of you feel very strongly about that and I totally get it. I would also prefer that the manufacturing was done here just for, you know, the less of the need to like import them into the country. You're obviously going to be saving on, you know, getting them shipped over here that way. And there's all that. But anyway, um, I'm still perfectly happy as having Homeworks as my go-to company. Um, I really have no desire to get anything else from any other company right now. Um, I, I am enjoying the occasional splurge from Nest. Um, I'm still getting, uh, I'm still loving my root candles that I have in my collection and will certainly purchase more, especially since I can get them for wholesale at the flower market. Don't, haven't, haven't bought anything and don't really have an interest in anything from Yankee Candle. Um, I did go and smell the Belgian waffles and I actually didn't like it on cold sniffs, so I didn't buy the candle. I almost did, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want to deal with returning this. I just, I felt bad for my store because I have done so many returns there in the past with Yankees. Um, and as far as like Swan Creek goes, 
Uh, I do still intend to place an order for their uh, drizzle melts and their herbal melts here in the next couple of months. So I will be doing that for sure because um, they do have some yummy sounding summer scents. But yeah, candle wise, I'm just, Homeworks is kind of my go-to right now. Um, I realize that some people are not, that's not their go-to right now, but um, I will continue to bring you guys the reviews of the candles that I am purchasing and burning, and I will let you know what my experience is. Ugh, this one smells so good. I did already buy a backup of this, just in case you're wondering, and I'm about to sneeze. Because I'm tight, right? <laughs> anyway, I should probably go on that note. Thank you guys for listening to this, like, wordy presentation of what I was burning and melting this week. Um, have a great rest of your weekend if I don't see you tomorrow for the Spun Vanilla Sugar review. Um, take care. Bye, guys.